Is that a Green Bay thing? Yeah. Yeah. Pick of this draft and made a move. Get back into the draft. For a fat minute. I'm not going to fucking put it down. But be thankful <laughs> I'm reaching out to you. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're doing another episode three. Hard Knocks has been disappointing. I heard someone in the last video commented said that because of our videos here, they feel like they don't even need to watch. Good. Actual, and honestly, we're saving you the subscription because uh, that's why I'm not re 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 renewing. Bring it to the bridge. <laughs> That's why I'm not renewing my HBO Max because uh, it's just not even worth the money, Dom. No, it's right. really not. If you love football, go just outside watch and this. play. No, if you don't, don't even watch this. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, watch, watch this. Yeah, watch, watch this. this. Are they gonna do better this episode? What are we saying is better, like entertaining or? Are like they gonna be more cutthroaty? Guys, no, I think they're to gonna keep it. glazing oh. Caleb because they Which just they the just worst. they just won another preseason game, and uh, we saw that. You know, the news is saying that he's the next coming of Jesus Christ himself. Turn that poop into wax. All right, let's check it out. Why did you think you had success yesterday? Um. One preparation. I just had a great breakfast. He's like three. I think uh, I, this morning I had the sausage. I had a Canadian bacon. I had a biscuit. A nice part of a balanced breakfast. Shout out to the chef and the, he just starts going yeah. on. And on. Number one was what was it? A uh, preparation. Two confidence. Three breakfast. Give me the Wheaties. Okay, spin around here. I just want to come, show you a couple plays. He just sees bored on the tab. <laughs> and it's just like the biggest bitch you can see. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. He's like, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? And he's looking at his ass like, you like that left foot? <laughs> the way his face is right now, dude, at, at this, this moment right here, he's just like. Cut play. out me scratching my nuts. No, zoom in on it. Broken my dick, I got lotion. Tell me what you recognize about the coverage. Tell me what you recognize about the coverage. Well, it was a cloudy day, and yeah, uh, the <laughs> humidity was about 60. <laughs> starts giving it away. Yeah, it starts... What do we? What do you think we learned? Practice is harder than the game. <laughs> <laughs> what? I hate an overly confident motherfucker, dog. The Bears' defense is not that fucking good. Practice is harder than the game. Get the fuck out of here. It's preseason. Even it's Hard Knocks had to cut out of that. They're like, they had to change the scene. They're like, hold on, what the? Oops, he's on. Even, even behind it, they're like, <laughs> the guy editing this shit. He goes, the producer gonna be mad, but fuck it. <laughs> he's like, practice is harder than the game. Yeah. When I tell you, I got like the goosebumps when Caleb Williams threw that pass. I know you're a correspondent, and you have to make it interesting for us. But there is no way in hell. There's no way in hell. You got goosebumps watching another man on TV throw fo a football. Uh, there's no, no, no way. I just, uh, there's no way. I, and listen, I've been a fan of Rodgers and, and the Packers, but there's no way that your dick got hard because you saw someone throw a pass. Like I said, I hope he's good. We're not going to know until year four or five. This is when you met a girl and this is like your guys' second month. She's All cool. the time. We're FaceTiming yeah, for FaceTime. three hours. Dog, two years in and I'm like, why are you calling me? <laughs> Why you send a text? Don't yeah. fucking call me. Yeah. Let's quit sucking them off right here. You're one. Yeah. I thought that was Steve Fury. <laughs> I thought that was Steve Fury. <laughs> yeah. Someone give Caleb Williams a fucking haircut, please. For the love of God. I don't know what he's trying. Is he trying to braid his shit? Or like, what's he going for? Yeah, dude, that's an ethnic thing. Stop being rude. Don't be racist. I am a building. If you had a button mm -hmm. and if you pushed it, mm -hmm one Bears fan would die, mm. but you would win 10 Super Bowls. He's like, can we make it a baby? <laughs> and he, his yeah. hands are all black and shit. Yeah. He starts like crying blood. Ryan Poles understands quarterbacks. You know, he looks like he eats quarter pounders. In Welsh, because he was Welsh, all my life I felt I was meant to fly. So then got that. Nice. I side with Caleb there. I hate when someone says some meaningful shit to you and you're like, and you never asked. What am I gonna say? Like, yeah, you who asked? Like, <laughs> nice. He was well. Best left handed arm wrestler. Dude, arm wrestling well. makes me so nervous. Why does it make you nervous? Dude, you ever see those videos of those like chicks arm wrestling and their fucking arms just snap? Yeah, dude. I mean, if your diet's hot Cheetos and uh, soda, then you're not gonna have a lot of strength. You know? Because like I mean? doing this and like you're putting so much pressure and friction. Just on these joints somehow. Yeah. And you're just gonna fucking bop. The only time I'd arm wrestle is to hold a girl's hand. Yeah, 
Swag with the white cleats. QB's got the best feet. Tyler Bajan is like if Trevor Lawrence grew up in a trailer park. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? If Trevor Lawrence's dad was an arm wrestler. Yeah, for <laughs> real. And not like a professional coach or whatever he is. The Bears thought they had made their final pick of this draft. They made a move. Get back into the draft. And For a fat minute. I'm not going to fucking put it down, bro. You're white. Be <laughs> thankful I'm reaching out to you. So where'd you get the nickname Ready? I don't know. It's from Bird Coach. No, I think you was, you was just ready. Number 46. You ain't going to make it. I don't want any like Australian attachments or anything like that. So, in fact, if no one knows who I am, that usually means I'm doing a pretty good job. What a fucking stink in the mud, dude. For real, bitch. <laughs> the fuck i don't want nobody i don't want to be a crocodile punter if you fight i will throw you off the field yes yeah, so let's see how this shit plays out i know hopefully i didn't hear there any fights though let's see if you're a starter and you're you gonna, fight you're gonna play a whole fucking preseason game now it's, but if you're not a starter and you fight you're not gonna play any then you're cut basically pretty much you're cut you're not gonna play man what the fuck dude who ruined this for everybody i think it was the government Honestly, I the think government. it was just becoming the forefront. So I think the commissioner had to call and be like, guys, we got to stop the fighting. You guys, you guys are getting fined 200000 And I think the fighting is what makes the show the fun. The fighting is what makes it interesting, especially at practice. It's always the most interesting shit. Yeah, but because it, it's like, man, they fi they're fighting for a job. Out exactly. There, like, and sitting down in front of a whole team and be like, don't you fight. Don't you fight. Hey, hold on. If I was a head coach, I'd be like, hey, yo. This is your job. Okay. You this is your fucking job. What's better than this? Guys being dudes. Imagine you work at a restaurant and then there's, there's, you know, you want to work at the restaurant, you know, but there's three positions and there's 10 of you there. And then they just bust in some people from out of town to come. So now there's 20, but there's only three positions left. And they're like, would you go find one of them for a, a Someone position? Someone might get a knife to the ass or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm better when it's not raining. And that's how they're going to be playing when they play Green Bay, dog. For real. They're all going to be slipping and they ain't going to know how to. No, I play better when it's, when, it's, when it's nice out. Through a duck. Good conversations yeah. with yeah. Lil Dirk. Did she just say Lil Dirk? Lil Dirk's advising on how to build a fucking stadium? <laughs> God, they just don't. They just go to anybody with over a million followers. Like, so what do you think? Theo Vaughn's interviewing Donald Trump. I Literally, mean, it's like, what like, the fuck are we doing now? Oh, She's been on every time. fucking episode. So oh, pause it. Okay. Is, is that a Green Bay thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did they say about this? All right. So the Bears and the Green Bay Packers are huge rivals, but this player, her husband, Simone Biles' husband, Flipped. literally last year played for the Packers. And I guess she didn't have, it came out that she didn't have like merch or, or like anything, like a jacket from the Bears with Owens on it. And she had this custom already made like Jonathan Owens safety oh my jacket. God. So she wore it to the game oh and the feds God. were pissed, dude. They oh were pissed. No. Yeah. Okay, this is what it is. She doesn't get it. Fuck, I just won seven like, gold medals yeah. last week. Boo Literally. all you want. I have one shit for this country. She's looking at her husband. What has he done? He hasn't done a fucking thing. Yeah, like, he hasn't dude. done a fucking thing. He ain't even won a Super Bowl. Yeah. This is his second team Third. to be on a team. Third? Oh, my God. I know her from being a gold medalist, not from being this fucking washed up. Yeah, I only know fucking... who Jonathan Owens is because of Simone Biles. Yeah. That's all I know. And that's all he'll ever be known for. Zero. I don't get nervous. What do you think when people say they're like, I don't get nervous? I believe it. Some people just don't get nervous. I just, I used to feel the same way. I didn't get crazy nervous. No, but I'm being like, I hate when I'm. But if we're in the like, NFL for millions, like, yeah, I'm gonna be fucking nervous. I guess it's kind of what you'd want from from your franchise quarterback. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, I feel like Aaron Rodgers would be like, see, nervousness is a psyche of the mind that's attributed by uh, thoughts that are unparalleled in your mind. If you're a veteran and you still get nervous for games, I'm like, you're just not prepared. Yeah, yeah. I had to buy 80. I had to buy 80. Imagine buying your family 81 tickets. That's kind of like when a comic that's new to the comedy buys like, uh, like invites like them. $60 worth of tickets just to not even perform. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Cut out. I'm good. I'm good. Cut out. So I'm going to just call my own shit, dog. <laughs> that was clean. And that was the throw that went like viral, wasn't it? Yeah. That they were like, oh, dude, the fucking bears have this. Everybody's still stuck with Daniel Jones. Enzo, he'd feed this with a look down and taking a quick peek. 
Bro's hella out of bounds. Miles out of bounds, pretty much. I mean, he started moving. So Looks like a white guy without a shirt, dude. Literally. I want to say something about him, but I don't know what. I don't like him. <laughs> you like boys? Nuh -uh. Nuh -uh. He's the kind of guy that parks in two parking spots and gets oh, mad if you tell him. Exactly. He has an issue with a lot of things, like a temper issue. Team three bears. Excellent. Work. Bears rub in his ass like he's got worms in For it and real, shit. Like he has fucking ass on the rug. They all look great. All the girlfriends are hot. See, like this is fucking weird. What did he say? <laughs> yeah, all the girlfriends are hot. Yeah, dude. What the hell? Every time I. Son gets a touchdown. I get my dick sucked by a cheerleader. Tyler Bajit is now officially banned yeah. and would not be showing himself publicly. Bears with one more coming up on third. What? Why are you upset? 3 and 0 in the preseason. So she took the jacket off. Fucking finally, it made her friend wear it. Is your friend wearing it? Yeah. That was episode three of the Hard Knocks, the Chicago Bears edition. You better put a good point, dude. This is like the honeymoon phase. Like everything's just going right. We need some adversity here. We need a player to get angry. We need a, someone to get cussed out. We need yeah. to see someone get cut. We need to see, let's see someone try to sneak a girl into like the team hotel in an away game. <laughs> Something interesting, yeah. something mild. A crabs, gonorrhea could be involved, but no one's getting seriously hurt. I will say this episode was better than episode two. Third, I will say maybe the best one. A little more coverage. A little more things for us to talk shit about. Like Ibra Flew saying, don't fight. Dude, shut up. Let him fight. And honestly, if uh, you're not bleeding your own blood for a job, you don't deserve it. I'm going to be cutting people at my job. That's how much I want. I need a job. I'll cut somebody. Yeah, I'm bringing a gun at work tomorrow. Yeah. And I work from home, so. <laughs> See you next time.